Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another episode. So there was one in the comment section, I was told by our admins, one of our dear listeners, we had said that, Brother Nashi, why do you say hello guys? Why do not say hello ladies and gentlemen? So I hope that I'll always remember what the admins uh, told me. So hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another episode here on african confessions there is a message that i want to share with you guys and this message it comes from a translation of a message that i received and the translation of that message it reads like this hello brother nashi how are you can you please post my own story as hidden identity my brother my story it goes on like this my story it is a very painful story and i do not even know what am i supposed to do with this thing that i am facing because i have tried believe you brother nashi that when i say that i have tried i have tried me and my husband we even tried go to pray and to fast but at the end of the day nothing is ever came out of our fasting and prayer it has made me to even think that maybe god is not there for me maybe god created me only so that me and my husband can suffer i am a woman who is 40 years old and at this age i don't know if i'll ever have a child because i am 40 i have never had a child in my life as well as my husband he has never had a child in his life and each and every day it is a struggle i even told my husband that it is far much better for him to go out there and to impregnate another woman so that he can die and so that by the time that he would die he would have left a seed here on earth but my brother what i know is that the challenge that we are facing the challenge that me and my husband is are facing it is coming from his parents his parents they are people that we can say they are very evil they do a lot of occultism in their family only got to find out about the occultic practices that they do this was when the bright price for me was paid and even the way that it was paid brother nashi it was in a strange way because in our culture like you send someone who can negotiate on your behalf but my father-in-law he was the one who came holding the money it was him and my mother-in-law so my parents they said that these people the way that they act they seem as if they do not even respect our shona culture so my father even refused but because of the money they ended up agreeing and when i arrived in the village in which i had gotten married into i then found out that there were other five women these women that were staying at my father's in-laws compound all of them they were married to his children because he had six boys and one girl so five of those women they were married to my husband's brothers but all of them they never had any children the only one who had a child was my sister-in-law and she has since passed away and this story it is a very long story as well because the way that she passed away she was in the city she had been sent by my mother-in-law to go and buy some things there in the city this was during the time when we wanted to start planting so when she went there to the capital city instead of returning back she then said that she had found a job and she wanted to work as a maid but my father-in-law got so angry with her and he then cursed her while he's we were speaking with her on the phone and the next thing that happened is that we heard that she had been hit by a tire this tire it had came off from a truck as this truck was passing her then that tire just hit her and she died on the spot so she was the only one amongst their children who was able to give birth the rest of my brothers-in-law they do not have any children at all they are like my husband they my husband never had any child so we are struggling brother nashi me and my husband in this family we are the only ones that pray recently i even had the news that they in the village they were holding this big ceremony and they were celebrating because they said that they wanted to bring this ancestor back into the compound so that he can look after the 
family but as for my husband since we are now christians we just said that it is far much better that we do not go and attend this ceremony and even though we never went to attend that ceremony my father-in-law he cursed my husband and he said that because he does not want to perform these traditional ceremonies then you will die without having a child but my husband whenever he reasons with me he said what is the use of me going there to perform this ceremony as if it is going to change anything and he gave me the example of my brothers in law his brothers even though each and every year they perform this ceremony of brewing traditional beer and pouring the traditional beer onto the ground but still they are childless they do not have any children at all so brother nashi me coming on your platform i am hoping that there is someone that is going to assist me even though i am someone who goes to the pentecostal church but i am willing to go and visit someone who prays not a traditional healer but i am willing to be assisted by a prophet from the white garment church if it happens that there is one that is willing to assist me one day brother nashi after i had started staying with my husband they in his village it was during that time whereby we were planting the maize seeds and it was raining a lot i then didn't see and i didn't know that this was what my father-in-law and my mother-in-law do so i asked one of my sister-in-laws this sister-in-law of mine after i had asked her she then pointed in the direction where the maize fields were as well as the graveyards will and when i looked there i saw that there was this other plastic shack that they had built they had built this plastic shack just close to the graves where the graves of my husband's relatives are so i then said who made that structure they just close to the graves and she said no you are going to find out for yourself later on after i had spoken with my husband my husband then said that since my father he has some ancestors of his that are on him so each and every raining season he is not allowed like to stay indoors for the rest of the season but he has to find like a week or sometimes according to the ancestors what they would want him to do sometimes he can even stay outside of the compound for the rest of the month i said but why close to the graves he then told me that he stays close to the graves because he feels that he communicates more with our ancestors when he is close to our relatives graves this thing that i saw my brother the occultic practice it just scared me a lot from there on even though i had started feeling lazy to pray i then started praying and the moment that i started praying my mother-in-law specific specifically she started hating me she hated me so much that that whenever i would be cooking then my mother in law she will start to say that she does not even know why her son ended up getting married to me because i can't even cook even if i would try to cook a nice meal for her she would refuse to eat but she would not start cooking when i will be cooking she would wait until i would have finished cooking then she would wash the pots and start cooking for the rest of the family so everyone was scared of my mother in law they would just wait for her to finish cooking and they would eat her food that she would have prepared instead of the food that i would have prepared and if i would ask what i was supposed to do with the food that i would have cooked for the rest of the family then my mother in law will say you know what to do go and throw that food to the dogs so as someone who would have taken a time preparing the food then i'll just keep quiet so there was one of my brother in law who was like controlled a lot by my mother in law he would take the food that i would have already prepared and placed in the dinner plates and he would go outside and he would throw the food to the dogs but when tomorrow comes brother nash when i would look outside i would see that the food the dogs would not have eaten their food it was only after maybe a couple of hours like late in the afternoon that is when you will see the dogs they will start eating the food and i went to ask this question is it even normal that a dog can just 
look at the meat throughout the night without doing anything then in the morning it can just look at the food and ignore the food your dogs would only eat this food this was after my mother-in-law will shout at the dogs and say go and eat the food otherwise we are going to be troubled by a lot of flies because they are chasing after this bad food then the dogs will rise up then they will start eating the food that i would have prepared the previous night that my father that my mother-in-law would have refused to eat when i saw that this was the spiritual warfare that i was fighting i then decided to pray and to pray me and my husband we have been praying for many years but what pains me the most is that to my husband i do not show him but deep down i am even starting to doubt myself like does god even see me does god even knows that i exist because if god knew of my existence he was going to send someone who was going to deliver me and give me a child that is all that i want if i can have one child i will be more than happy dear listeners right there was a dear sister of ours who was saying that it seems as if i am in the process of backsliding because she said that sometimes when i go on my knees i end up not even knowing what to say because i have said i have told god everything about my life over the years and now i am just waiting for his answer but it seems as if his answer will never come soon enough